order to tilt a 90 degree gearbox, a 90 degree drivetrain, um, we must have two things, <laughs> a clutch system and a freewheel unit. Now, the freewheel unit can be as shown here and the way it works is that if torque is applied, if power is applied, it's going to rotate the driven section of the freewheel, but the freewheel uh, driven section can um, slide past the driving uh, drive section. So the, the actual, uh, there's two sections, it's a driven and dri drive section. We, we can call it that. Um, so it's, it's quite simple, um, but of course we have to tilt it both directions. And of course we have to have another freewheel drive mechanism oriented in reverse. Now that means we have to have a clutch. So hypothetically, let's say we want to tilt our 90 degree drivetrain. Well, we're going to disconnect right here. We're going to then begin turning. So we can turn, in this case, let us select what we want to spin, just like this. And we'll begin spinning. And again, in real life, you can see it's rubbing. In real life, each of these gears would move down slightly. But here we go. You notice we must have a clutch right here. Okay. Now, let's say we want to spin in the other direction. We must have a clutch here because we can't turn in reverse. So, we will go ahead and select here we go now we can turn in reverse oops why don't we select this as well now we can begin turning in reverse why is this not working that's because we have a face selected pardon me Again, you must have a disconnect clutch. All right, now we could begin turning in reverse. Now, um, this is not ideal for a continuous back and forth movement because each time we switch from uh, forward to rear, we have to engage these two clutches. And doing so at a high frequency would uh, entail a great deal of uh, usage on that component, and that is a critical component that uh, is, is arguably the most critical component, uh, one of the most critical components. Overutilizing it would uh, lead to a short life. Now, this is also how the V280 gearbox, V280 Valor gearbox works. Excuse me. Uh, if we zoom out and then we disconnect, we can. See if we can find the V280 Valor gearbox mechanism right here. Just like that. The V280 Valor works where rather than rotating the nacelle, the uh, 90 degree gearbox spins. So, this is how it works. Very simple system. Uh, in this case, it's oriented towards um, a sliding center of gravity rotorcraft system. Uh, so this entire module slides back and forth on the drive shaft. shaft. Uh, we've already we we've made a video illustrating how that works. The narration uh, was really not required, and I'm sure it was a crummy narration, but it, it helps to 
understand and visualize this rather simple mechanism. But uh, I hope this uh, was of use to your mechanical engineering endeavors, and uh, I hope that it could be um, informative um, and, again, useful for your specific mechanical engineering needs.